now all these woods will become independent women so many women i cannot maintain them meditating upon the lord when we keep engaging in the service of the lord the devotees become little intelligent in handling situations like when lord ramachandra was banished so he had to move back to forest so entire kingdom they were following lord ramachandra so when it was evening time lord ramachandra they came up to a place known as tamasa river the night they had parked there everybody took rest there lord ramachandra was insisting them to go back but none of them were ready to go back they said when you are not there in the kingdom that kingdom is not worth us wherever you are that is our kingdom but lord ramachandra wanted to spend this life he was actually on a mission he is not going on a sightseeing or touring he wanted to execute the purpose for which he had come to this material world that is killing of ram so this is an entire drama by which lord ramachandra comes out of the house and his main aim is to kill the ravana and to reduce the burden of the devadas that was the request by which the devadas wanted lord to be appeared in this material world. but people were not listening so lord ramachandra early morning he instructed sumantra to take the chariot in a reverse direction up to ayodhya and from there fly in the air so that people became confused next day morning they all got up they all saw lord ramachandra's chariot in a direction they followed and it, they all entered ayodhya back and from there they, they all thought ramachandra would have gone home but actually lord ramachandra when it reached ayodhya it again it flew back and crossed it near near river ganges it came up to river ganges as soon as lord ramachandra entered that nishada kingdom the king of nishada guha he comes forward and uh, he is actually friend of lord ramachandra so he comes forward he uh, lord ramachandra he offers obeisances and lord ramachandra uh, hugs him and uh, treats him like his, his own personality so he arranges a huge feast but lord ramachandra says no i am an tapasya here i am not here for enjoyment like royal appliances my horses have worked hard please feed this feast to the my, my cows my horses sorry and he will accept some bare minimum roots or something like a forest lifestyle like a sadhu then there was river ganges which has to be crossed so he requested guha please help him to cross the river ganges so uh, guha requ- uh, guha had uh, many people under his kingdom there was one person by name uh, kevat who was a boat rower so when uh, boat rower came and uh, he brought his boat and when he saw lord ramachandra all these things and all so sir he was insisting on one point before you get into my boat i have to wash your feet go so, hi saying what is the problem why you are doing all these things sir but he was very adamant that he has to wash the lotus feet of the lord so then they were asking what is the reason why you are forcing upon this washing of the lotus feet he said i know i know my dear sir the dust of your lotus feet is so capable on the way while coming here you turned one stone into one woman now my boat is made with so many woods from different trees now all these woods will become independent women so many women i cannot maintain them i am one person struggling hard to maintain my own wife i only have this one boat this is my uta now this this boat will become so many women now my uta is gone i can i don't have money to purchase and i can't maintain all these women please forgive me lord ramachandra laughed and uh, uh, he looked at sita and uh, lakshmana so they also agreed condition because uh, we don't have any option so he immediately washed the lotus feet of the lord wiped it and before climbing on to the boat see again after you wash there will be one step where then he placed his hand in such a way lord can place his lotus feet on his hand and climb into the then uh, uh, then uh, the lord uh, the lord and everybody sat down and he was flying the boat in the way between sita devi became very much happy by his service and she passed on her ring to lord ramachandra to give him as a dakshina or, or a prize for giving them an opportunity to cross then he flatly refused my dear sir no thank you very much 
so then lord said why why you are not taking a people of same business do not exchange money or do not exchange thing he said how you are a boatman i am a king how both of us are same business my dear sir one barber when he shaves head for the another barber he will never charge one washerman when he washes clothes for other washerman he will never charge personal personal person similarly i am an a boatman i am trying to cross you from this ganga to from one side to another side and you are a boatman who crosses from the samsara chakra to vaikuntha both of us are doing same service so one person should not charge from the other person then lord chandra became very happy he hugged him and uh, he blessed him with unlimited devotion see the simple point what only thing is how lord intelligence how he presented now who is this person what is his previous life perspective the padma purana there is a small reference it says this kevat is like a huge tortoise in milk ocean so he became fascinated by the lotus feet of the lord and he wanted to come and touch or kiss the lotus feet of the lord because of its huge akara and little fiery attitude when he came nearby lakshmi devi became little hesitant she became little fearful by seeing that huge size and she informed adishesha please send him away little further so adishesha what he did by his tail he pushed that tortoise little far off chata mara so he went away little far off but the desire to touch the lotus feet of the lord was there intrinsic within him the same tortoise became kevat So the same Lakshmi Devi who sent away gave permission to wash the lotus feet of the Lord, and the same Adishesha who was sending him away now pulling, uh, asking him to come forward to touch the lotus feet and offer the lotus feet. How Lord arranged in such a way? The same people who sent them back who called him and gave that service. So then the desire is sincere and it is strong. The service of the Lord. See again, I may have material desires, and I may be having strong desire. Will that be fulfilled? Now here for the service of the Lord, the Lord gives that opportunity. and the sincerity of the service is also